Hey people, today we're actually doing something different, I guess. So all that you're seeing right now is basically my uh, my screensaver on my drawboard. Because that my that's my, actually my second monitor. Basically like I have the drawboard plugged in as a second monitor. So basically I can put art there and basically just draw on it right away. Like but that's what we're talking well, not what we're talking about today. Today uh decided to, like a lot of people hate uh, this program right here. I'm going to put an icon up there. Uh open broadcasting software because apparently it's confusing as hell. Honestly, that's what I use as my like whenever I'm doing gaming stuff, that's what I use. Let's put that back. Get away. Get away. Yeah. So, now we're actually going to talk about it. Oh god, it's trippy. Ah! Okay, so... Oh god, this is going to be trippy to watch. Look at, um... Well, I have to kind of do it. So... What I'm doing right now is... No, you know what, I have to do this. So anyway... You can actually still see, like, the setting stuff and such. So anyway, like, I'm going to go through settings first, and that's basically general, which is, like, language settings, and setting profile, none of this is important, you can put it as whatever I have it. You can turn on and off the different stuff here. Encoding, this, I have, honestly, I have no idea what it does, but I just have to set to this, and if you like the quality of my videos, then you could put it to the same thing, I guess. But if, like, I don't know, broadcasting software, basically where you put the files and uh, basically all that kind of stuff, you can fix this yourself. I have like a, like the reason why it's just basically just like users, Vettler videos, recordings, uh, Scenic, Scenic, and before. I have no idea why I called it Scenic, so. Replays. Um, like, I, I don't mainly just, I don't care about replays. All I have is basically file output only. Like, I put, could, could put it to streaming, but streaming is a lot, way, way, way harder. Uh, so, I would suggest not doing that. Video is, uh, yeah, how it is. Aspect ratio, monitor, like, all this stuff. I And this is basically something important right here. Frames per second. Now, frames per second is basically how many, like, pictures the program actually takes for you. Uh, basically, how many pictures so it doesn't lag, basically, while you record. And uh, I use 60 frame per frames per second because if I have 60 frames per second, that basically means I take 60 p pictures at the time. You can put it to lower and higher, but I would suggest 60 FPS if your PC can't really do that a lot better. Then, uh, I would suggest, then, I don't know, I, I would just go down a little bit, like, to 50, or, I say maximum 30 FPS, because, no, minimum 30, 30 FPS, because 30 is actually pretty good, as well. And, because I, I honestly, I don't see any difference on those, but, like, I pick it in 60, because people tell me to go in 60. Uh, now, audio, basically, is uh, where you set your microphone and such. Uh, desktop audio, audio audio device I use the default, which is basically like the the basically the ones the audio that comes out of the um, like basically out of my computer that are basically like on default. So basically, if you're recording a game, you want to set that. Uh, Blue Snowball is basically my microphone, which is uh, which is uh, my kind of like. There's you can also set it to other like kind of deal. Uh, for force microphone to mono and show only connected devices yeah that's like basically just uh, set your microphone there push or talk delay I don't I don't mess with this stuff I don't do that I just fit it to as it is hotkeys and here's something important because I use this for because like it's this here like I I haven't enabled push to talk because I talk anyway like always but there are like, if you hit F12, like, look at this, uh, F12 for live streaming to start it, F F11 to stop the live streaming. 
I was thinking about doing a live stream every Sunday, I think. I think I will be starting to do that, but I, I will announce it on another video. Like, when I decide. Like, what times times I would like to do it. F9 is basically like the recording stuff. Uh, F8, it, like F8 and F9 basically start recording, stop recording. You want to put the buttons somewhere if you're like playing a game, for example, Final Fantasy, like Final Fantasy Freddy's, uh, you don't know it. That's a bad example. If you're playing, uh, for example, uh, uh, World of Warcraft, there's a lot of buttons there, and you might have to press E, M, and uh, N a lot. So basically, if you do like recording, like if you put your recording to something like on the hotbar, or if you're idiotic enough to start with, it with a, uh, with spacebar as a recording way, then you're gonna have a bit of bad time if you don't want to like to jump. Like if you like to jump, if you don't like to jump, then you can easily just turn it to uh, like space. But I would suggest having space free. Like, uh, but I use F9, F8 because the m most damage it can barely do is mostly like yeah. It opens a bag, or like, opens a little tab, like it's really middle, and then you can just cr- like, like you can basically just move your mouse over and just click it, to go it over way. So this is all like, general stuff, and advanced, I have honestly no idea what this does. And uh, like, most of you, like you can set it to mine as it is now, and because mine is actually working pretty fine. But you tell me otherwise. Quick stick recorder, I don't use that. Microphone, no skate. Well, that's basically my voice coming through the stuff. Like you see, my voice goes up and down compared to like what it is. And uh, attack time, I have no idea. I just have it to add this and uh, yeah. So that's the options. Oh my god, I'm going to put like a, I'm going to put like a black screen over here now. So basically you can focus on whatever I'm talking about. So basically, as you see there, there's basically a scene. Scene 5, scene, 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 scene. Yeah, what what actually that is, is basically different recording setups I have. I can't show you any of these because, well, I have to actually put them there. But basically you can basically right-click add a scene and then you can basically, then you get, like, then you get an open place on this side. Because I can't show you, but on these there are different like ways. Because that that one is game capture. It says that here. But basically here you can basically add different type of uh, like for example an image. You can upload an image. So basically if I go like, oh let me show you a big great picture. It basically puts up a file thing, and then you can basically just choose this badass little kitten there, and click here, and then it will be on here, and you can hit edit scene to basically drag it around. Now this can, while I record, like as you see in the background, it still goes even though I have it here. But uh, look, the cat picture always says stays there. Either way, it always stays there. Like it, it will always stay there unless I, and then I can just remove it if you don't like it. And uh, basically hit edit scene if you want to like record and drag around stuff. You can even drag around on all of it. And monitor capture is basically like the mon like the capture I have on the monitor. Now let's go to like if I want to basically add like a window like for example what I have now up is Skype oh gotta gotta have to change that uh for example the last twinkle on earth youtube.com at good mythical morning is what I'm basically l listening to while I do this I'm gonna I'm I basically change it like so like uh, or Steam at that point Steam is a good option so I have it on Steam so. Captured layered windows and such. You can choose what you want here. Gamma, use point filtering. Like I have, I only use this. For example, let me just put up uh, my the last twinkle on earth. Now this is a Facebook picture. Now I'm gonna remove that so it doesn't say that. And now you look. I have the site with the last twinkle on earth kind of video up. Is what I was listening to before I did this tutorial. Yay! And look, I can move this around. So basically, you can like this is what I did with a DS kind of capture. I basically put that there. Now let's remove that stuff. So basically, like window capture actually functions with all of them. You can also add game capture. And what you have to do is basically you can hold on. Let's change that again. You can actually change it. Like for example, here's Steam. Like. 
you gotta have you can change this to whatever you want and I would suggest stretch image to screen uh, because basically I would gonna suggest every single time you use game capture you basically have to stretch image to screen because else it's just going to get weird and uh, like you can when you first add this well, I'm gonna look if I don't have something awful up on Steam I'm gonna have uh, my I guess I'm gonna have my my Battle Book Theater kind of no. God damn it! I'm just going to do my source, source kind of global thing. And if I do this, oh, it doesn't show. Well, oh yeah, it's because it's I removed it. Damn it! Hold on, gotta do it again. So basically, if you like add a game capture and basically have it like stream stretch image to screen, apparently it doesn't work. Hold on, I might as well just open up a new picture, I guess. I ah, open paint. Fine, I open paint. So basically, game capture and video cap video window capture is also basically the same. But if you can't find it on uh, what's it called? If you can't find it on why is it? Oh, it's because it's, yeah, uh, or move up, no, what? Why isn't it working? I don't know why it's work not working right now. Oh, because it's not a game, right, okay. So, maybe it's, I'm wrong. But basically, if you basically open, like, a game and it doesn't work on, uh, if it doesn't work on game capture, you can also go back to window capture and basically see if it's up there because you get a list like I basically like for example I get a list here like basically when I click on there basically it's a bunch of lists of different games that can open uh, no not a different games that can open but basically like windows that are active on my uh, on my on my thing so basically you can do the same basically go here and just go down to see if there's anything new and then you know that now what I'm going to talk about now is uh, like there's a lot of different stuff here basically because a friend of mine wants to know uh, how to add um, like I can add, I can add text image slideshows basically have a bunch of pictures to register right like so and like a bunch of pictures here add a bunch of like add a map and then they would go through it and basically slide through and you will see uh, I can't do that right now. Text and uh, mon like monitor capture. That's obvious. Which monitor you want to capture? In case window and game footage doesn't work, you can always use monitor capture. Uh, but then you need to have a second monitor for your recording program, I guess. But unless you don't want to see the basically the sound and all that happens right there. But at the end, video capture device basically like if you have a webcam or something. Like, for example, I don't have my webcam plugged in right now. But you can basically have a webcam actually put out there and you can just, you just put it down, uh, around and just spin around and see what happens. I would say if you really want to do that, then do it. Like, basically for horror games, that's a really good way. And basically, you just, you just click that way. Video capture device, and then it will be on the top, and then you put, and then you use edit scene, and basically put it up a p nice place. Hold on, like the same I did with image. Like for example, gonna put, uh, uh, gonna put this uh, very, very lovely picture. Hold on, where is it? Yeah, I'm gonna put this cat picture of a kitten. Now here you see. If you want to basically, like this is basically how the webcam is also going to look. You can uh, minimize it, you can uh, upline it, you can, if you if you just hold shift and then you can drag it up, so you stretch it or crush it. Or you could actually just do this and so basically if you're you're mad about your size and you could just hold shift and just shrink it down. Now, now this kid is as a thin as a paper. And if you just want it normal again, you could just like click it normally and then it will be back to normal. So, for example, if for a gamer, like a lot of people use webcam, you could use it up here. It's very easy to do, or you can basically just record your, like... You can also use, um, mo like, Movie Maker and just add it up later on the editing program, but... 
Honestly, it's easier this way and you don't have to sync up the voices. Or like, you don't, like, I usually just remove the other voices if I have like a separate one. Which I did for the Saints Row of the first video because my game capture wasn't working at the first time. So I would suggest, suggest you watch that. But right now, I like, for example, if you want to see my like screen, like for example, like you want to see my face on, uh, uh, on, uh, basically on the video game, I will probably do it another time, but not now. Maybe when I start playing a lot of horror games, I, I'm going to play Final Fantasy soon, but I'm not going to do face cam on that. I'm sorry, but like right now, I am a little bit like I'm still a little bit paranoid about that. But basically. Just move around and just see where you like to have the camera. Maybe you want to have it to right in the right corner, left corner, another left corner, or the other right corner. Then you choose. And if you like, remember with the images, you can also create like that uh, typical like weird look, like I did with Pokemon. Like the Pokemon video actually has like a bunch of images, because uh, PNG images also work. For example. You could put out, for example, uh, this uh, one I made. No, I didn't make this. This was this was something I found uh, on the internet. Like, look, it's actually like see-through, uh, so you can basically just put it out here, protesting against the kittens that wants to hug you. Sounds like it's something I remember, right? Right, Golden Freddy. Anyway, so that's basically it. Uh, this has been uh, Dull Dummy here, and. Uh, this is a tutorial on uh, OBS. Oh wait, hold on. Before I go, you see this right here? Uh, the mic and uh, microphone and uh, the, this sound. Basically, if you click on the microphone, the, my sound turns off. While you do that, you, nobody can hear your voice. So, But you can also do it mid-recording, like I'm doing right now. You can also turn down your voice so you don't or turn it back up so you basically can hear it again you choose what you want to you want to turn it up or you want to turn it down uh, and uh, like for that like on the other side there is basically a sound coming up from your computer like I don't have an example to basically play with you play for you maybe I could play a little bit of like uh, hold on maybe I could play a little bit of like uh, sad piano music Um, basically, I can choose to, like, maybe put it back up or put it down. Like, I can increase the volume. Um, increase it back down. But I, oh, I like to have it around here. And, uh, you choose what you want to do, basically. I cancel it now, since I don't want it. And, uh, like, if you want to basically, like... That's basically all, and you can actually check your frames down here if you drop frames, if you... How long you've been recording, I've been recording for 18 minutes now, holy crap, how did I even that happen? And, uh, like, 380, like, it's on green, like, you will actually see a little bit, like, hints on that. Drop frames will actually tell you. Uh, so that's basically it. If you want to, like, and if you want to remove something, you just right-click and... You can increase the order, so basically, like, you can move it down, so it, the cat is over it, and you can move back up, so it's back over it. And if you want to basically do like me, and basically just, like, get this away from here, move to bottom, and now it's behind the, the monitor. And you just remove it if you don't want like it. Anyway, I think that's been it, and uh, thanks for watching, guys. I will talk to you another time, and if you want any tutorial on any, like, program that you like like to use like for example this is what I use for recording I use uh, audacity when I ever like I do some like something like the what's it called the video pod like the voice acting and such basically that's what I use for editing my voice and sometimes like I like to increase my voice I like to speed up my voice and such so basically if you want to know uh, audacity I also use that or you want to know my my drawing program, which is a really good one, a real cheap and good one. So, basically, yeah. If you want a tutorial, then just ask me. Anyway, that's been, uh, that's been Doll Dummy here. I will talk to you another time, and hopefully we'll get to see you again. And, uh, yeah. Go check out the gaming channel if you haven't, or if you have, then stay, t if you want to stay tuned, just, just subscribe. Alright, I see you next time. Goodbye.